Now, uh, the, uh, the assault uh, weapons ban has passed the Senate subcommittee. Is that correct? That's correct. Even with uh, uh, the McCarthyite uh, troll himself, Mr. Ted Cruz, who looks so much like Joe McCarthy, I honestly think there are reincarnation possibilities there. He sounds and looks so much like him. Uh, he got schooled by by Diane Feinstein, which you let's let's play this clip. It's beautiful. Let's play this clip. Um, let, let's let's start with uh, Ted Cruz. Let's do let's hear this now. Uh, it seems to me that all of us should begin as our foundational document with the Constitution. Right, just speed it up. And the Second Amendment in the Bill of Rights provides that the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. The term the right of the people. When the framers included it in the Bill of Rights, they used it as a term of That's art. Awesome. That same phrase, the right of the people, is found in the First Amendment. The right of the people to peaceably assemble and to petition their government for redress of grievances. It's also found in the Fourth Amendment. The right of the people to be free from unreasonable searches and seizures. Always and, and the question that I would pose to the senior senator from California is, would she deem it consistent with the Bill of Rights for Congress to engage in the same endeavor that we are contemplating doing with the Second Amendment in the context of the First or Fourth Amendment? Let me just make a couple of points in response. One, I'm not a sixth grader. Senator, I've been on this committee for 20 years. I was a mayor for nine years. I walked in, I saw people shot. I've looked at bodies that have been shot with these weapons. I've seen the bullets that implode. In, in Sandy Hook, youngsters were dismembered. I mean, it's fine you want to lecture me on the Constitution. I appreciate it. Just know I've been here for a long time. I've passed on a number of bills. I've studied the Constitution myself. I am reasonably well educated, and I thank you for the lecture. Incidentally, this does not prohibit, you use the word prohibit, it exempts 2,271 weapons. Isn't Mr. that Chair enough for the people in the United States? M Mr. Do Chairman. Do they need a bazooka? Do they need... Uh, other high-powered weapons that military people use to kill in close combat? I don't think so. Good for her. Yeah. And here's what um, people don't maybe don't remember and don't know, which was in 1978. Yes. She was the one on the Board of Supervisors in San Francisco that discovered the bodies of Harvey Milk um, and Mayor Moscone. And made the announcement, if I remember correctly. I mean, I've Yes, she came out and made the announcement to the, to the press. Um, and again, <clears throat> you know, uh, she's experienced it personally. She's been a champion on this issue. I've disagreed with her, by the way, on a number of other issues. I'll say the other thing I found interesting about that is Ted Cruz saying, would we do this on the Fourth Amendment? You have, buddy. <laughs> right. Right, right uh, indeed. Warrantless wiretaps and all the other constitutional abrogations that you and your, co your, your caucus support wholeheartedly. Um, yeah, you would do it to the Fourth Amendment, but the, 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 the Second Amendment, as you're talking about, has nothing to do with what you're saying, because even Scalia, in his right-wing interpretation of the Second Amendment, said that exotic weapons, like military weapons, could be limited. Right. But the Fourth Amendment, on the other hand, which you brought up so kindly, uh, is something that you're all too happy to shred and destroy at a moment's notice. So I found that kind of ironic. All right, we just got a minute here. Uh, you're going to stick around uh, for the uh, later part of the show. Yes. But um, uh, w what do you think? I mean, I, uh, I obviously been out the past week. I was a little surprised to see that th this is past the... Um, uh, the Senate uh, committee, is this going to get to the floor? Are we going to see a vote on this? I think we will. <clears throat> uh, you have to remember that it passed the committee, but it was Democrats. It was completely partisan. Um, there may be ways they can bring more Republicans in. A few have offered, at least that they are open-minded. Mark Kirk has. But I think this is encouraging, at least, that we're going to see it. Uh, no, we're them having take a debate. Vote. They're going to take a vote. That's big. And on That's the two big. other bills that passed, one of them Chuck Grassley supported, which was the gun trafficking bill, and the other one, background checks, which all the Republicans opposed because they're looking for some more of a compromise. It's pretty clear that Jeff Flake and Chuck Grassley and a few others on judiciary and beyond, Johnny Isaacson, John McCain, Susan Collins, Mark Kirk, uh, all have, have said in some manner or not that they would support uh, a background check bill. The biggest argument is can they keep records? If their records can't be kept in some capacity, it really damages the ability because the federal government destroys those records in 24 hours now. Right. So they don't keep records. How do they get them to them before these records are destroyed and anybody has a chance to, to look at them if somebody – so so – that needs, but I, I actually do think a background check bill of some sort. This was the gold standard. I don't know it will get through in this way, but in some way, the assault weapons ban, however, and the ten bullet limit. There's going to be a vote, I think, but it's going to be. It's, we're going to have to fight hard on it, and we will.